Well, we're definitely starting off with mostly cloudy skies. Another cool morning here across the valley. Temperatures are in the low 60s, 63 right now in McAllen, Harlingen 61, Brownsville 62 degrees. So definitely not really expecting much sun today. We will see the chance for some isolated showers, but nothing widespread and severe like we saw yesterday or Friday there. So a bit of a quieter next 48 hours here across the RGV. But of course, those wind speeds are out of the north between 11 and 13 miles an hour. We're feeling the effects of that cold front as far as our dog walk forecast. Temps warming on up into the upper 60s, about, about 70 degrees by 11 o'clock this morning with mostly cloudy skies uh, expected to last. Of course, uh, here's a look at some of those wind damage reports. You're able to see that with the little icons that you're seeing on your screen there. Of course, Willisie County, they dealt with some uh, crazy damaging winds in uh, southern Cameron County and around just north of Brownsville. But of course, uh, those peak wind gusts up to 60 to 70 miles an hour. An important reminder to uh, always stay weather aware, especially as we head into the spring season because this is severe weather season for much of Texas. But of course, also hurricane season not too far away. June 1st, the first day of hurricane season there. So of course, peaking around the corner. Future clouds and radar showing cloudy skies. We could see some isolated showers move through later on today. So stray showers and storms might see a drizzle or two later on today, but of course not uh, expecting that widespread heavy downpours that we saw yesterday with those damaging winds as well as with the hell that we saw on Friday. We're dealing with mostly quiet conditions across uh, Texas and across the southern half of the state, but as we go into the next seven days, we will see the chance for some more rain and storms as we get closer towards Thursday. So weather models showing a cold front and another frontal system that's going to be making its way through the state as uh, and arriving here around Thursday morning and we very well likely could be looking at more widespread showers there a little bit too early to tell whether or not that's going to be severe but of course uh, definitely expecting more rain on the way as we head into the end of our week there for your seven day forecast temperatures remaining mostly warm and muggy from here on out as we go into the rest of our week mostly cloudy for Wednesday that rain chance ramping up significantly for Thursday with that next cold front but we will see another cold front arrive on Saturday that could bring some uh, conditions, some isolated showers for Saturday overnight lows in the 60s and 70s through the next seven days. And of course, here's a look at our traffic update. This is showing uh, the expressway at Lewis Lane out in Harlingen. This is uh, showing clear sailing in terms of those traffic conditions there. This is facing off the west, but expecting mostly calm conditions.